Jack, uh, your view of the overall game and effort put in by your group tonight. Well, I thought it was good that uh, we were able to overcome some of the adversity that we faced in the game, and uh, our power play struggled as of late. So it's uh, it's good to see us get a couple power play goals. We found a way to win the game, and that's what matters, two points. Was it good for you especially to go on the power play early in the game and be able to, to get the setup you want and see if you guys were going to be able to uh, get some momentum off of that? Yeah, it was good that uh, we got one early. Uh, there are few. It seems like there they've been few and and far lately we haven't uh, had too many opportunities so it was good that uh, you know the times we did get opportunity to get out there on the man advantage we were able to take advantage of it it's good that we get one early too i think it uh, it gets us going we're uh, we're we're a much better hockey team when we score first so it's good to uh, it's good to get out to a lead and obviously the power play points along with uh, your overall night which featured different line mates how, how did you view you know just the changes and how they were received this morning you were talking about yeah. what typically happens in this situation is you get heightened effort and awareness by you know guys wanting to pick each other up yeah i mean i think uh, i think we all did a good job i think guys stepped up and and uh you see different people you know contribute in different ways i thought uh, i thought sammy had a great game i thought some of our deep played well and uh the line combinations up front obviously uh you know the coach was juggling them a little bit but i thought we uh, i thought we did a good job of just you know sticking with it trying to get pucks deep playing to our identity and um you know give them credit they're a really good hockey team over there they put a lot at us and uh you know our goalie kept us in it and you know find a way to get two points and, and, and as i said earlier that's uh, that's the biggest key right now for us is just trying to find a way to get a win every night and then move on to the next game Jack, it's a long season. You play 82 games, training camp and playoffs and training and all of that. So do you think Saturday night, being able to step away from all that and having Casino for a cause with uh, Zach Bogosian, do you think that helped getting the guys together and forgetting about what's been going on and just think about the positive with the fans and with the people in the community? Well, I thought it was a great event, yeah. I mean, uh, it's always nice to do things like that. And, and uh, you know, Zach and his wife do such a great job of... Uh, you know, putting that event together, it was uh, it was a first-class event, and obviously it's great to see them raise so much money and, and awareness and, um, you know, help out, uh, you know, people in need. So uh, it's always fun doing that with the guys. I thought uh, everyone really enjoyed it. The event was awesome. I know I had a great time, and I'm sure you guys both did. So uh, I thought it was uh, I thought it was awesome. <laughs> Marty had more fun than me. Yeah. Uh, I had obligations. Um, However, that being said, and you kind of hit on something there as far as the group, I feel like when you're at an event like that and it's run by a teammate, there's a little bit extra given as far as once you get into the live auction and stuff like that. Were you impressed that a lot of you and your mates were able to step up and raise a little more for the BOGO bunch? Uh, I'm not surprised. It was uh, it was good to see. Uh, definitely surprised that uh, Tomer took home a dog. But, um, <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I mean, I didn't know he was uh, – I didn't know that was in his, uh, in his game, taking home with dog but hey i thought uh, i thought the guys did a great job and and obviously you know talking to zach he uh he thought the event was super successful and uh it just says a lot about the community the uh, the fans and everyone here at uh you know, it's it's awesome to see so many people come out and support his charity and, and uh, obviously raising uh, a lot of money for, for some serious causes. Well, Jack, um, last one, and it's obviously along these lines as well. I should note, if you weren't with us in the pregame, their organizers told us more than 600 in attendance and more than $100,000 raised from the event. Wow. So that's an impressive uh, total in its own right. But tonight, uh, we had uh, friends from Make Lemonade, uh, the foundation in support of CP, were here. Uh, last game, it was Saba. And, and you probably don't know this jack but often as we've been rolling through post game shows you see the interactions post game that you have and your teammates have but you specifically have taken an awful lot of time with with these meet and greets and and it's evolved i'm going to say uh from the moment you stepped foot in buffalo for the first time after being drafted second overall in 2015 how much more does this feel like just what you do on a game day now yeah, I mean, um, it's uh, it's something that, uh, you know, means a lot to me. It's it's so easy to just, you know, give back to a community that's given myself and my family so much, and uh, especially some of the people in need. I mean, y you build relationships in the city, and you get to know people, and uh, it's just filled with so many tremendous human beings. And uh, for me to be able to just meet a few people after a game, some people that are in need or uh, people who don't get to come out and see as many games as they'd like, it's, uh, it's awesome to have them here. And get to say hello after games, get to meet him. You meet some amazing people. And, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun this year for me. I've enjoyed it. It's a good way to interact with the community and give back to, you know, a community that's given me so much, as I said.
thank you for that yeah. and uh, for the time tonight. Thanks, Duffer. See you, Marty.